just like that, we back. But this time it's with a new segment that we call Cop or Pass, where we bring you new products, new material, new firearms, new whatever it is, restocks, re-releases found in the two-way community. So we're going to tell you if we want a cop or if we think we're going to pass on it. So let's get it started. First up, we have a SIG restock, which is going to be the FCU for the P320 and the P365. And I ain't even going to cap. This is definitely a cop for me. I'm going to skip the details. Uh, man, just straight to the point, it's a cop for me. We already copped it. Uh, P320, I've been waiting probably about 18 months for this. As soon as the pandemic hit, the scamdemic, whatever you want to call it, as soon as it hit, it went out of stock. They finally restocked it. I saw on Brownell's website, cop immediately. Yeah, that was a good cop. I was glad he bought it before I can even respond to the text that it was in stock. So that was good on your part. I wanted to build an X5 ever since we shot our homie Barrett. So I'm excited. 100% cop. Already, already got it. Yeah, already. Already. It's easy. Titanium nitride uh, trigger. Titanium nitride frame. It's got all the guts you need. So all you got to do is slap a slide onto it. Yep. Put your grip on there. You good to go. Easy cop. Yeah. On to the next one. So second on the list is the hybrid module grip from a man too, uh, the S300. Um, so what this does is it allows you to combine the FCU from the SIG to a grip that has the same limb, same size, same dimensions as your P365. So you got the top end of a P320, bottom end of a P365. Mm -hmm. Very cool in concept. In reality, sounds good on paper. What what in reality, what do you think? It's a cop for me. I mean, I like I like a little variety. I wouldn't say I carry it definitely one day. It wouldn't be my EDC. Not at all. But I like variety. You know, I like to play around with some stuff. You know. And I think it like he said, it's cool in concept. I think it's something fun to take to the range. Mm -hmm. And maybe, maybe I would carry it on the very, very, very few days I can't fit my Nighthawk, you know what I'm saying? It's not often, but I think it's nice to have an option. So for me, uh, man, I like my big guns. I'm not even going to lie. No cap. No cap. I like my big guns. Um, This right here is more so like a novelty item to me. Yeah. Um, It's not a must-have. Uh, the P320, you got the big up, you got the big upstairs. Got the big head. Just it makes it just seems really top heavy. Uh, we have one. Um, have two. Yeah, have two. Um, shout out to Men Two, uh, mm -hmm. dope company. Uh, yeah. But this right here, um, it's not it's not a must have. It is it is a good cop if you don't want to buy both of those two firearms. Um, if you just want to have one, and sometimes you want to put the you know the small small grip on there, you know P three sixty five grip. It's a it's a cool cop in that concept. If you want to save a little cheese. Uh, you know, just slap your grip module on there. I like how you said it's novelty because it's something like I gotta, I gotta test it out. Like yeah. I just gotta see, I gotta smack them together and see if I actually like the combo. And I, I agree, it is a little top heavy because you know it's very lightweight. But I still think it'll be some fun to take to the range here and there, let people yeah. try. Gotta get the extension though. If you're gonna grab it, you gotta get the extension yeah. on the magazine. Just so you can fit your whole hand on there. P365 out the gate is already small. Very so tiny. If I had to run a P365, it would be the XL. Yeah. Um, but that's me. Uh, it's a pass for me. Mm -mm. Um, but it, it's definitely a cool item to have if you just want to you know, have one on the side. You throw on one just to show the homies. That type of deal. Hey, I want to shoot. Y'all want to see something? Yeah, just like that. On to the next yeah. one. Next up on the list is the highly anticipated uh, Optic Ray Beretta 92. So they've got two models that they have object ready right now. You have the 92X Performance Defensive and you have the 92X RDO. Both give you an optic ready model of your Beretta 92. The Defensive has a price point uh, or MSRP of $1549 and the RDO has a MSRP of $699. What you think? I will get the 92X, the competition style. I already know what you're going to say about how high the optic sits. But, again, it's something that I wouldn't carry. It wouldn't be my EDC. But it's something I would take to the range and play around with. I mean, I kind of wanted a Beretta, you know, again, for the, the throwback feel of it. Um, 
and the name that's behind it. I've never owned a Beretta, so I would get it just because I've always wanted a Beretta. Who knows if I would keep it, but I definitely cop. Yeah, again, it's a cop for me. Uh, I probably go with the competition model again too. Uh, you know, me, I like the a little that bit fancy boy. edge, <laughs> fancy edge. You know, I like the um, I don't know really what the color is on it, but I like that like chrome look. Mm-hmm. Um, that look so. I'll go for the competition model. It is a little steep on the price point, but then again, um, compared to the previous model, the non-optic version, I think it's only like a $50 increase. So, you know, it kind of make you think a lot of companies charge a lot more for that optics ready model. So, you know, some of them just, you know, screwed a couple of top, a couple of holes into the top and gave you an optics ready model. Somehow. So, you know, addition of $50. Like she said, man, it sits, it sits high. And it's like a two story. <laughs> Optic on it, like no chance to use sights, iron sights at all. Like absolutely no chance. I mean, are you using iron? No. Well, sometimes you like to use them as backups. But do you, do yeah. you though? It definitely says half an inch over the slide. But yeah, Cop nonetheless, Beretta has you know long standing record with making great firearms. So you know, hopefully they can trim it down. You know, reach out to Langdon Tactical and see how he got it. An inch less <laughs> how they may be able to, you know. It is what it is. It's a cop. Yeah, a cop. And now, uh, on to one of my favorites on this list, uh, J-Max Adapter. And so right now they have what is called their X-Series muzzle device. And it allows you to mount your suppressor thread straight onto their muzzle device. We have one. It, it was a cop. As soon as as soon as they restocked, I copped immediately. Told them that I was copping. Uh, copped it immediately, man. Okay. And I run my uh, my Wolfman arm, as you can see right here. I run my Wolfman. You probably you may not be able to see it, but I run my Wolfman on that muzzle device, and man, it's a joy. So it's a cop. If you run any kind of like dead air, and you don't want to run it quick, like. Uh, Quick mount just because of their system, their quick uh, mount system does you know it, it has probably what three hundred dollars into it. Mm-hmm. You've got to buy the muzzle device, and then you have to buy the quick mounts. Uh, so if you just use that, you take off the uh, the thread. So on, on this one, um, half inch by twenty eight. You, you take that off, uh, screw on, screw on the uh, muzzle device. You're good to go. It's a cop. I'm all for simplifying like. I guess systems, I don't know, or you, different things, but definitely a cop. I like J Mac, the people there. Yeah, man, they make 100%. some some yeah. good adapters, especially yeah. for stocks. Uh, they make some super dope AK products. Um, and I'm trying to build a relationship with them. I was about they, to say, you want to be on the team. Got, <laughs> always have the good gear, so yeah. definitely a cop. Hey, J Mac. I'm, I'm probably going to grab another two just so I can you know, have some interchangeability. With the suppressor yeah. and you know, put it on some uh, uh, other uh, other rifles, pistols, and what have you. So a cop, cop, must cop. Next up, we have the Hollison AEMS. Mm. This caused a lot of chatter on yeah. Instagram. Yeah, definitely for good right reason. Yeah. Now, so it's 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 a Hollison, you know. Um, so really, really Hollison, they just. You know, give you a different form factor, but they release you know pretty much the same optics. Mm-hmm. You know, a couple of different changes here and there. You know, but relatively the same optic, whether it's a little bit b- bigger, yeah, a little bit smaller. Um, we have quite a few Hollisons. You know, never had any problem with it. Um, this right here for me, we we don't have any Hollison uh, rifle optics right now. Mm-hmm. Um, so you know, it, it it's a clean pickup to me. It's a clean pickup. Uh. These form factor is a lot smaller than you know previous models that we've seen. Uh, Hollison has a pretty good reputation, even though it's made in China. Uh, the Chinese, it's you know it's somehow some good quality. Uh, this one in particular is made out of seventy seventy five aluminum, so I was really looking to get a titanium model. You know we have the five hundred eight T, five hundred nine T, and we've been really we've grown accustomed to that titanium feel, and for this to you know back step. To aluminum is kind of a letdown, but I think it's still a clean pickup. So cop fast. Uh, that's a cop for me. Um, it's got a couple of pro- proprietary items on there, especially the mount. You know, looking for some other companies to give you different mounting options just to get a little bit taller. Uh, but it's a it's a cop for me, easy cop. Um, 
the price point is one of the factors that I don't like. I think the green dot is somewhere at 505 and the uh, red dot is somewhere like 479 or something like that, MSRP. They got some weird numbers out there. Um, but uh, it's, a, it's a cop nonetheless. I'm a pass. Mm-mm. It's a pass for me. Um, I wasn't excited when I saw it. I'm not excited now. I'm more so interested in pistol optics. I'm set with my rifle optics. Like, in my opinion, I'm good. It's a couple I want to try for sure, but I'm going to pass on this one. Gotcha. Next. So next up. I'm going to tell you. This is, this is, uh, no cap, it's a pass. It's, <laughs> before we get into it, it's a pass. So we're talking about the Surefire Micro Scout uh, Light Pro. A pass. Straight pass. <laughs> trash features. Uh, trash <laughs> specs. Just, just pass. Uh, so so the, the the highlight is that it's it's right at two ounces. Mm-hmm. Um, it's got a tail cap clicker, uh, three hundred lumens. I think ten forty five candela. I just feel like it's not at industry standard, and I don't really know why a company like Surefire would sacrifice that for weight. But mm-hmm. hey, some people will like it. I'm not yeah. buying it. Yeah, it's not. Pass. It's not for me. It's a pass. I'm good with my cloud defensive. Straight like that. Next in line is one of my favorites from Standard Co. And we're talking about the Geronimo and the Hayden X300 holsters. Um, this straight up, it's a, it's a cop. So what it allows you to do is it is a holster that's adapted to the Surefire X300 flashlight. So, man, it's, we have one. We have the Hayden, as a matter of fact. Mm-hmm. And it allows you to use your Wait, X300. We. We. Yeah, we. We. We have one. I, I never get to use it, but we do have one. <laughs> he bought it for himself. And then he was like, oh, yeah, you should run it. And I just never gave it back. But yeah. it is. It's ours. Yeah, I'm going to get a couple more, man. I, I, I want to try the Geronimo yeah. just to see, you know. The Geronimo is an inside waistband. And the Hayden is an outside waistband. Yeah. So I already like the Hayden. So I want to try the uh, Geronimo. Cop for sure. Definitely a cop. Yeah, and like I said, it, it allow it's a holster that's adapted to the X three hundred flashlight, so it's universal. Anything that you're running the X three hundred on is you know is acceptable for this holster. Well, pretty much anything. Yeah, and it's definitely a cop because I run a filter right now, which is universal for the X three hundred. So I like Standard Coast quality. They seem like a really good company. I would make the switch. Yeah, and it has a really really tight fitment on the. Mm-hmm. on a flashlight whereas the filter isn't yeah. as tight uh, it's got some kind of it. like it's got a stringy system yeah that uh you can tighten and loosen to fit you know whatever firearm you you have but the uh standard co is is tight yeah don't have to worry about any kind of like movement if i want the holster like some of the holsters that you run outside of waistband since on your firearm yeah if not you know secured in there right might fall out yeah. but this man tight. i no worries. So definitely a cop. Um, if you have been looking at this, then I, I definitely say you should cop that. And the price point is really good right now. I think it's it's uh, sitting for seventy five. So for an outside of waistband or inside of waistband, usually you're you're looking at one thirty five, one twenty five, yeah, depending sure. on you know what what pattern you have. Uh, if it's Kydex, if it's wrapped in Fedora, um, man, the price point is good. It had me so I we picked it up when it was on sale. So yeah. Definitely a look cop. out for those sales, y'all. Yeah, 10 15 dollars off. Yeah, look out for them. Add up. Yeah. Wow, I've been waiting for this one. And this one is this FN Scar with the non reciprocating charging handle. So that's coming in your 17S and your 20S. Man, and as much as I like the Scar, having a non reciprocating charging handle made it that much better. <laughs> This is definitely a cop for me. I've really, I've actually been looking for a scar for probably about a year, two mm-hmm. years. Uh, shout out my man, uh, Tactical Chops. Uh, shout out to Tactical Chops, man. He was the first person who put me on a scar. Yeah. And ever since I shot his, man, I've just wanted a scar for so long. Uh, so this gives me the opportunity to to really get one. Um, the price points came down since the pandemic started, so it's, it's starting to get back into you know a more feasible range. Uh, so it's it's one of them thing. It's one of the firearms that I'm actually considering running or picking up 
yeah. within the next year or so. This is something <clears throat> when he's out looking for the star that I would buy like as a gift for you. So I would say definitely a cop. Don't buy it because I'm probably going to buy it for you. But yeah, cop for sure. Yeah. And it, it just has such a good track record. Um, I know it tears up objects. I know it tears up accessories. Yeah. But <laughs> Thing of beats. Buy once, cry once. Get the waist up the first time. But yeah, it's a cop. No it is a cop. Last but not least is uh, the Reptilian 34 millimeter optic mount. And this has been one that I've been anticipating for quite some time. Um, I like Reptilia's products. Yeah. I never really had a, the chance to run one of their optic mounts just because it doesn't fit the uh, optic system that I run currently, which is the uh, Steiner M8XI. Now they make something that, that's for it. Unfortunately, this one is their co-witness model, so it's one that I'm unfortunately going to have to pass on. Um, they are planning to release uh, some a higher line or a, a little bit taller of an uh, optic mount, so that's one that I'll, I'll cop on, but as soon as they release it, I'm going to try to cop that. Uh, but this one, unfortunately, is a, is a, is a pass on. Mm -mm. I'm torn. I'm a pass. Mm -mm. I'm with you. I'll pass. But not indefinitely. I'm passing and I'm waiting for <laughs> the updated version. Yeah, so uh, what this, what this one thing that I do like about the Reptilia Optic Mount is it gives you an opportunity to mount uh, your red dot, red dot system on top of that mount. So you can either get, uh, you can either mount it on top or you can have it canted at 45 degrees. So I do like that uh, that concept that they put in there. I think uh, I've seen another company, I think Gosley allows you to, uh, or Reptilia makes one for God, for the Gosley mount, and now they've adopted it to their own uh, optic mount system. Uh, so definitely, it's, if you want this, if you've been looking for a 34 millimeter, uh, it's a cop. If you want you know, your raised uh, raised optic sight, uh, I suggest for it now um, for the, the next release. Uh, mm -hmm. They did say that it's coming in the coming weeks, so just be on the lookout for it. Okay, quick wrap up. What's your favorite thing that we talked about today and then your least favorite thing? Uh, so my favorite thing on the list, uh, something I'm going to pick up uh, pretty soon is the Standico uh, holster, uh, both the Hayden and Geronimo. I got to get another one of both of those just because, one, I want to run the Hayden outside of waste management and then the Geronimo, I want to try it out for inside of waste management and see, you know, how it performs. Yeah. My favorite thing would be the FCU, mainly because the anticipation leading up to it. Like, I was looking for it so hard last year. So, to finally get it, and I've been wanting the X5, that's got to be my favorite. Least favorite is that flashlight Surefire. That's my yeah. least favorite. Yeah, Surefire probably is the least favorite for me, too. The micro is just trash. Mm -hmm. Somebody so, like Yeah, it. somebody likes it. So, let us know if you like it. If you want it or have it, let us know and let us know why we should try it. If enough people say it, I'll get it and let him try I'll, it out. I'll, I'll. <laughs> if enough people want him to test it out, I'll get it for him. I ain't going straight into the trash can. And he'll test it out. Do not mind my ashy eyebrows. Hey, but if you see me look up, we got a TV right here that's displaying, you know, what we look like, so I check it out from time to time. Just to make sure we stay in focus. And then if you see me look to the left, you know, because we have a monitor right here and I'm, you know, using my cheat sheet. No. If y'all see him looking up, it is a TV up there, but he looking at me because he's so in love. That's why. Hmm. Yep, I am in love. Hey, and if you get a chance, go check out Puologist.com and get you some gear. We got the Resist T. Uh... It has been some questions on Instagram, just what is this? And it's, you know, our low-key way of saying resist. So it's no vowels, uh, resist. You know, it's, not, it's showing you that you got two S's and a T. Uh, it's a resist T. Mm -hmm. Check that out. Also check out the Frederick Do Douglass quote uh, about tyranny. Yeah. You know, look us up on Instagram. As I stated, my name is a Puologist. And I'm Miss Hero. And you can find us. We drop some hot fire content. We got the... Coolest shoes in the 2A industry. Probably not the coolest, but, you know, we like to say that we're the coolest. Okay, I got a shout out. I don't usually do this, but my daddy friend said that he subscribed to us on here and told my daddy that we had a YouTube, which he already knew, but, like, he actually watched us. So, hey, Chaz. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Yep. 
<laughs> I got personal quick. But just like that, <laughs> hey, we on our way out of here. We'll be back. Um, you know, this really is going to depend on how often the two-way community is dropping uh, products. So if we got some new products, good stuff out there, you know, we might be back next week if we have to compile a new list of stuff within the yeah. next two weeks. We will. Give us a shout out on here if you know of any new stuff that's coming out. We'll take a look at it, possibly reach out to the company, see if we can get it in hand. Um, that's all we've got. All right. We'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>